Hey, this is Andrew here with Chemical Concepts, showing you uh, another solution here for bonding and uh, fastening honeycomb panels. Uh, what we have here is an aluminum honeycomb. This is a material from a company called uh, Plascore out of Michigan, and uh, you're seeing a couple of different solutions here. This is the deform nut, which is a specialty fastener for putting a female thread uh, into aluminum honeycomb or other types of honeycomb panels. And then these are our bonding fasteners combined with some of our adhesives. Um, the adhesive we're using right here is the Lord uh, Max Lock adhesive, uh, which is a phenomenal metal bonder. So we're going to demonstrate uh, both of these techniques here. Uh, first off, this is the uh, deform nut. So the way this system works, you have a hole that you drill in the panel, you insert the deform nut, then you have your rivet tool, you come, you rivet that to the face, then adhesive is injected inside, and the secondary nut is screwed inside. And so then you're bonded to the substrate, you're riveted to the face, and you have a very strong anchor point. So just to give you an idea how this works, so I have a deform nut that's already on our rivet tool. You could get a pneumatic version. So if you see there, hopefully you caught that, it starts to kind of pancake like that and then that catches the, so I'll continue. There we go. So that's what the final result looks like. All right, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna drill this panel. Let's start off with our eye protection. Here's the uh, panel before the hole is drilled. We have a little jig here. I'm gonna got this uh, got the rivet inserted here. So I'll use this insertion tool. So there we go. Now the next step, so now that's on there. Now the next step is this gets injected. With adhesive. So I've got my max lock right here. So like always with two-part adhesives we're gonna purge the mixer so that's waste. We're just gonna make sure we fill this cavity nice and good with adhesive. The secondary screw. There we go. Okay. Now that we have our deform nut on, we're going to add our bonding fasteners as well. So I'm just putting the adhesive directly on the back of this bonding fastener. In this example, I'm doing zero surface prep. This adhesive is designed for primerless adhesion to metal. These, this, this particular fastener here is zinc coated. So I might recommend, depending on the load that this is going to take, scuffing up the back to remove the coating from the back so you're adhering to the metal and not adhering to the coating. 
but for light duty bonding and my purposes here, this is fine. And this adhesive actually has glass beads mixed into the product. This protects against human error. So you can't over clamp this because there's adhesive, there's these beads mixed in. So that's always going to create that perfect 10,000 spawn line if I were to press this down. And then I'm just going to do one more bead of adhesive here. There we go.